Hello, this is Martin here from Secrets, the channel for learning about trading and investment. Welcome to the daily technical market analysis, the markets tomorrow. So, this is for the analysis for July 14, 2021. So, as usual, we, we will uh, look at the charts and uh, look at each of these parameters like, you know, uh, the candlestick surprise action, each of these items that is listed down there, we'll analyze them, look at the charts and the data, and then see how we can plan for tomorrow's trade. And also, we'll see what exactly happened today and what could be likely to happen tomorrow accordingly. Okay, let's get deep dive into the charts. So, here you have the nifty charts. Let's remove all the noise and then the plain charts. If you see what candle do you see here? So here we have a, something known as a hammer. Hammer is bullish on the downtrend. It it shows that the week shows that there is bullish crystal from the top, from the bottom, right? So um, Bank Nifty, what do you have? Yeah. So we have a wide range green candle, right? It is a bullish move that happened today, right? So uh, there is no particular candle for Bank Nifty. So it's bullish and it's green, and then the bullish pressure can be seen from the shadow of the week, which is longer than the top week. Right. This one is a hammer which is normally bullish and the wick in the bottom side is more. Right. Now let us see what happened in the um, nifty during the day. So today was a gap up day. Clear trend, you know, gap up. But what happened was um, it gapped up in the morning and uh, and then, you know, uh, it uh, uh, fall down. Right. So because of SGX was up and then gapped up and then it's consolidated. And then by around, you no, know, around uh, the 12 o'clock that time frame, it started breaking out, trending upwards, and did um, a good move today. Right? So if you see here overall, you know, the, you know, the, it was a trending good move that happened. It took the market to 120 points nearby. Right? So that's the action in the uh, right, let's just uh, move this first. So it was a trending day, but initially there was a small consolidation that happened because of the uh, move, uh, move that uh, shot up to 800 nearby, and then and the first candle was very bearish actually. Right, uh, it is an open is equal to high, and after that, because of that, it consolidated till afternoon, and then afternoon it started trending upwards. Bank Nifty also same thing happened. First candle was very bearish, right? It did a gap up and then started falling for 15 minutes, then consolidated and then trended upwards. And then by the end, there was little slight you know, profit booking that happened in the end after 2 o'clock. There was some profit booking that happened. So that's the price action that you can see in both the indices. Let's read back to the one day charts. So here, um, the next thing that we have to see is what? No? Oh, what is happening there? Right? So clearly there is a bullish move happened today. But what 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 exactly is the uh, support and resistance? Where are we? Yes. So we are heading with the hammer into the same resistance zone of 15. What is that? 800 and 900 that zone. So tomorrow we will be going there and hitting there. So keep in mind that it has been tested several times this particular zone has you no know, has put heavy resistance and it was tested several times so anything decisive it can be told only if 1500 is conquered similarly bank nifty what is happening bank nifty also is heading towards the resistance zone right so this is the resistance zone right so it is already hit that in the case of bank nifty does not hit that is that to hit bank nifty it's already hit there and 35800 if it is cross means then we are back in the bullishness there is a some kind of inverse head and shoulder pattern that you can see it is bullish if the neckline of the 15800 is broken 35800 is broken so bank nifty seems to be bull, will be a bullish breakout if this resistance zone the initial resistance zone is broken right after that we have multiple resistance zone but that is the first hurdle now supports resistances are clear on the nifty right right so no changes have happened except that it is a, it is a bullish candle today so 15600 uh, remains that uh, support zone 15600 500 that level below that you have 15 
450 kind of levels and after that you get 15,000 levels so mm, that, there's no change that has happened here, here also the same the 34 uh, 935,000 that level till 35 you know, 600 that level is the for immediate support below that you have 34 300 to 34,000 that kind of levels and then resistance and supports where it is currently is 35,800 to 35,600 that kind of levels so that is the support and resistance level that remains the same so um, yeah so now let us see uh, the momentum what has happened with the momentum for the nifty the momentum has uh, come up you can see that but still it is in the sideways it does not cross the bullish probably tomorrow it will climb into the bullish zones bank nifty if you see same you no know, the moment has you know, started rising upwards and it has to climb into this bullish zones right that is when you say momentum is not sideways any longer now uh, what does the Bollinger Band say for the bank if you put no Bollinger Bands continue to say that it is consolidation now the skews of volatility can be seen in the bank nifty as well as so bank nifty if tomorrow this 15 8, 35 800 is crossed means then you can say Bollinger Bands are slowly expanding upwards that is when the breakout happens so that is likely to happen first on the bank nifty because that is more bullish looks like momentum and um, trend we are not seeing so trend is something right so trend did not fully cross over right so the bullishness has not crossed over completely on the nifty it is on the verge of crossing over and nifty it has already crossed over yesterday itself it was you know bullish so it has further risen up so and nifty is clearly bullish already on the short term basis nifty is a crossover rate to happen it may happen tomorrow right so that is about the momentum trend support resistance you no know, the volatility contractions price action and the candlesticks now let us move into the open interest data and see what is happening on the open interest there right so open interest for the nifty for the 15th july expiry day after tomorrow which is currently showing kind of slightly bullish because the maximum put rating is uh, having the largest contracts so 15700 is the uh, support and uh, 16000 is the resistance so anything can happen between the 300 points right so after that the fighting point is 15800 where bulls and bears both are there then 900 is also there so so, so below that 15500 support is always there right 600 also is there so exactly like how it, so how it is seen in the charts so pcr has improved from yesterday it has gone very bad to 6.6 .6 levels now it is improved but it's you know, kind of uh, not at fully bullish but yeah it's much better for money rate let's see bank nifty for the 15 euro expiry highest it, this seems to be slightly bearish from the oi perspective because the highest resistance is seen as 36,000 and that is having the highest number of contracts but if you look at the immediate supports you can see that it is 35,500 and 34,000 and in between you have supports at 35,000 also so bank nifty uh, no major supports is 35,500 and 36,000 that is where the action may be happening for this expiry now PCR put call ratio clearly showing that it is turned to bullishness right so that is what we can see right so uh, so that is something so put call ratio is very good bank nifty clearly the open interest analysis and the charts and the momentum trend everything is showing bank nifty is bullish it's more bullish than the bank nifty right so what else do we see there volatility what happened to the volatility india weeks if you see what is happening there today let's take off this policy bands and then let's see for the slow five minutes charts if you see weeks from the morning if you see it is remained more or less flat you can see there's not much closing is having on this 12.5 so VIX was flat more or less no no fluctuation it continues to show and remain that song for institutional participants if you see uh, so before going to that let's also see the open interest rate of the futures contract 
which is showing that today is long build up clearly on the nifty and it is long build up no it is short covering that's happening on the bank nifty so bank nifty people are bearish in it those people are now turning bullish so short covering is slightly bullish and so a long build up in nifty and so about futures contract is giving another perspective bank nifty is showing a short covering not long build up yet right so that is something that you have to keep in mind now let us go back and see the four institution what what did they do right so if you go to the daily data we can see that the fares had bought it is green and yeah so domestic institution also bought 300 so 400 crores of buying has happened so both of them are not in the sell mode right which is a good thing sectors if you see what are the sectors let's see the heat map of futures to get some idea on how the sectors performed here so you can see that the fmc did perform banking and automobile pharma metals all these things FMCG and IT did not, IT did not perform. Let's see what happened. IT is in our radar, right? So IT is in our radar. This is the IT index, and we have seen that there is you no know, correction that is happening in the IT, and the momentum is lost. Okay, we already seen that. We talked that the last week that you no, know, this is going to weekly. divergence and the divergence already started right this is a bearish divergence and it can go up to this level you also discussed that this in, because of this divergence all the in, uh, components of this it index like infosys tcs wipro all of them is having this kind of bearish divergence so there is likely to be small correction that can happen in the nifty that is exactly what happened today right none of the it you know performed today it corrected today also look at the daily also it did a major bearish move right now metals if you see the metal it is still continuing to be the sideways nothing is happening there fmcg we discussed that fmcg is not having any issue on the weekly on the daily basis we it has gone to sideways it was very bullish and then you no know, it slipped in the sideways for some period of time today also it was very bearish So that is what is we saw in the heat map also that FMC didn't perform. Auto, right? There is a rounding pattern ahead. Inverter head and shoulders that could break out upwards, but it has not. It does not seem to be working. See, normally head and shoulders working higher time from weekly or monthly, not only daily time frame, but daily time frame also. You can look that no. Sometimes it may work out. So there is a pattern here. There is a potential. breakout pattern is there that's all so but if you see the index oh, another thing that we can notice is the momentum has taken a support on the 40 which is very good taking support at near the 40 level and bouncing up is bullishness right so it can move up back here is what it clearly says right but if you see momentum as of now it is sideways but taken support and bouncing so which is good so there you know there can be a chance of um you no know, momentum going upwards and then prices moving according in lower to sector so pharma today went up right and hit the same resistance pharma we have seen that there is uh, uh yeah so it was in the bullish zones earlier you know, few few days back last week and then it slipped to the sideways now it is climbing back so pharma so if it is breaking out tomorrow on this level all time high level then that means the pharma stocks can be something that can be kept in mind it can go up so pharma is this is chance of breakout automobile is chance of breakout it is bearish metal sideways fmcg um, has gone sideways no, no nothing exciting is happening there right now another interesting sector that i added today is here it is that uh, it is the Uh, reality sector so reality sector has done is doing a breakout actually speaking it has already done that so if you put a see you can see that you no know, on the weekly also this is happening this this candle is 2017 or 18 right yes 18 january so it's a 3 year 
old rounding pattern so this is kind of a this is known as a routing pattern so whenever this breakout has happened this is a neckline if that has happened it is very bullish so pharma has to be kept in watch kept watch so one of the pharma stocks that i have identified i'll just um, uh, there is sobro reality which i found that it is good right you can see that there is uh, there is uh, no trending up move that is happening right and if there is a retracement that's coming down here right that will be a buying opportunity for further up move because it is trending clearly right in a channel support right so next time it dips to the channel you can buy so reality sector is performing good is something that we have at the fair right now what else is there usd inr okay, no sector watch is over so usd inr what did that do there yeah it's it's again getting upwards right dollar is strengthening dollar index also if you see it is going up towards the resistance zone but it is strengthening and gold oh this is weekly i'm sorry usd inr daily we didn't see that Daily also it's consolidating near 75 zone. So it consolidated for some time here, then broke out. So this is a major resistance zone, right? Resistance zone, and now it is coming another major resistance zone, consolidating near that. This is 75 rupees zone, right? So there is going to be big resistance before it can break out, right? There is a channel there. So weekly channel, if you see. So you know you just can't simply break out that takes some time so that's what is consolidating but uh, it is moving up is what the charts are saying okay right? now gold if you see you can see the gold is breaking out of the channel right or the channel can be moved uh, and uh, can be placed something like this right so it is heading towards the channel it's gold is moving up it's bouncing up it has been doing that for right, last several weeks one two three four five weeks almost a one month it's moving up right so gold is bullish global markets uh, yeah so oil is uh, slightly correcting but it is heading up global markets if you see sg uh, sgx is flat nasdaq is green now down is down and uh, s&p 500 is also flat or green so no further indications no except that nasdaq is performing with you know near 200 points up so you'll have to check that before the pre-market just indication if something is wrong but as of now it doesn't look like this market no major worries can be seen right and that's it you know so that's a wrap up so overall if you just to summarize the study of what market based on the what market action the consolidation is not over yet once again after the lower boundary support area of the consolidation was hit and market is trying to move away and back now whether it will hit the previous resistance and move breakout is a big question that we don't know that is what we have to wait and watch for tomorrow and day after tomorrow whether it is going to be a continuation of the same up and down move or will it break out okay that is something so there is bullishness that we see in the price actions candlestick patterns right supports and resistance are clear it remains the same no changes momentum and uh, trend has improved open and analysis is within the same range that the chart says volatility is flat FIODA you know, both of them did not sell sector wise uh, there is potential uh, movement that can happen in the auto sector right in the pharma sector and all this can break out right and reality is seeing good opportunities are breaking out USD INR is heading up but towards the resistance zone gold is heading up since several weeks and global markets no other warnings use market is green
or flat or is not bearish so um, yeah so it is just wait and watch for the breakout once again it's all the actionable that can be done right so if you are trading on index right wait for the 15900 to be cost before you take long position so already have long position nothing to worry until the 15500 is broke or 50 for foot is broke right and uh, Bank Nifty looks to be more bullish and focus, you know, index trades on the bank to the long side if 35,800 is cost. Right? So, so, and other than that, you know, whichever sector is performing, which I said, reality is a sector that you can look for some swing trade on a bright reality and any of the other, some of the quadrate pop trees of stocks like that, leading stocks in the reality sector can be looked at. And uh, there is a result of Infosys that is coming, so it's going to be volatile. Tomorrow is a Wednesday, one day before the expiry, so it's going to be highly volatile. I should try with caution. I hope you got some insights on how the market performed today, what is the overall direction of the market, what could happen potentially on either side, up and down, and what all, you know, we can think about to, you know, to come out with a plan for plan of action for the for taking the trades tomorrow and uh, hope it helps and thanks for watching um, happy trading and happy uh, learning